What is up, weather enthusiasts? I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so here's the situation we have for you, ladies and gentlemen. We are looking at a scenario that has not happened in 84 years. Hurricane Hillary, which is currently in the eastern Pacific Ocean, is expected to make landfall in the Baja Peninsula and enter California as either a minimal hurricane or a tropical storm. This is based off of some of the models that I've been looking at, and we're going to go ahead and break down everything that we have so far. So here's the situation we have right now. Hurricane Hillary, as of right now, is a Category 4 hurricane with winds of 130 miles per hour. The strength has come down some. Earlier, it was 145 miles per hour. Now it's down to 130. This is primarily due to the reasoning is because it's moving through cooler waters as of right now. Before, Hillary was in 30 plus degrees Celsius waters, and that was what it was able to use to fuel this to get pretty much into a mid-range category for a hurricane. Now it's moving into around 28 plus degree waters, and those waters are expected to continue cooling down as it approaches Baja, California, and then California. So here's the public advisory we have right here. There is a hurricane warning that has been issued for parts of, the, of Baja, California, right here in Mexico, and tropical storm watches are in effect for the first time in my lifetime in San Diego, Los Angeles, and those areas right there due to this system. You don't typically see stuff like this because the waters are too cold, the shear is too strong, and everything like that. But this time is different, and we're going to uh, continue to monitor this. So here's the, what we have. The minimum central pressure is 948 millibars, once again a 130-mile-per-hour Category 4 hurricane. And here's what the N uh, NHC is saying about this. Life-threatening and powerful catastrophic, sorry, potentially catastrophic flooding over much of Baja, California, and Southern California this weekend and early next week. So that's what we have going on. In the impacts, it, rainfall is pretty much the top one. Hillary is expected to produce rainfall amounts of 3 to 6 inches with isolated maximum amounts up to 10 inches across portions of Baja, California through uh, Sunday night. Heavy rainfall, pretty much the same amount is expected through Southern California. And there's actually some a graphic I need to show you guys as well. This is what the NHC is putting out. There is an, a high risk of flooding, which a high risk for flooding is about, se uh, there's a 70% risk of potentially bad flash flooding going on. And they have a high risk, they have two high risk areas of flash flooding for parts of California. The moderate risk where uh, flash flooding is pretty much, it encompasses tens of millions of people we're looking at including the cities of Los Angeles, San Diego, Yuma, and Arizona, and even Las Vegas in Nevada. And the slide around that pretty much encompasses most of the state of Nevada, parts of California, including Bakersfield right there, and Utah. So this is a pretty dangerous situation we are looking at. And we're going to continue to cover this as pretty much as more information comes in. But here's the, uh, but here's the current storm information. Its current location is 18.2 degrees north, 111.9 degrees west. Its radius of maximum winds is 20 nautical miles right here. Here's where, the, here's where tropical storm and hurricane force winds extend from, according to the public advisory right here. Tropical storm force winds extend out 275 miles from the center. So this is a very large system that we're looking at. And hurricane force winds extend out 50 miles from the center. Minimum central pressure, once again, uh, 948 millibars. So that's what we have going on right now. We're going to go ahead and show you the track models and the intensity models. Track models over the next two days have this thing continuing to be out to sea. However, the majority of the track models initialized at 18C have this thing barely staying off the coast of Baja, California, or making a landfall near the U.S.-Mexico border, and then making landfall near San Diego as a tropical storm. And here's the intensity models we have right here. By 48 hours out, the majority of them have this around a Category 1 uh, system, although some outliers by 60 hours out have that as the same. It gets down to tropical storm strength by the time it approaches 
uh, California, primarily due to those cooler waters and in, in increasing wind shear that we are noticing with this right here. So we're going to go ahead and next show you some forecast models that we've been keeping an eye on and we'll continue to monitor. So here's the forecast models we're going to show you. Here We're going to show you the HWARF, HMON, GFS, and all of those, as well as some other metrics that I've been, sh I've been keeping an eye on that are absolutely bone chilling to me. So here's the HWARF we have. This is a little bit out of date, so please do keep that in mind. Here's what the HWARF has this system doing. The HWARF has the system staying barely off the coast of Baja, California, making landfall around Orange, around Orange County once it enters there. as around a 992 millibar system right here. I'm going to go ahead and show you the 850 millibar height and wind. So yeah, it's not... It's not nearly as organized as it as it is here with what's going on. Again, wind shear. Again, a lot of stuff is in play with this. But there is going to be a lot of a potential flooding with the, these rains right here. This is a scenario that has not happened since 1939, ladies and gentlemen. And that was the Long Beach tropical system. So this has not happened in generations. And I think it's important to emphasize this. So that's what the H wharf has this thing doing. It moves further inland, but basically, by the time it, uh, from the time of now until it approaches California, it's going to be weakening at a considerable pace. So you don't have to worry about the. It's not going to be the wind threat that's going to be the main concern. It's mainly going to be the flood threat, especially with the amount of rain that we are anticipating going forward into this. Now we're going to go ahead and show you the H mon run with Hillary right here. We have some of it. Out. We have the eight, enough the 18Z out to kind of show you what's going on. So here's the 18Z run we have for you right here. Th things do start weakening as it approaches California. It stays off the uh, off the coast of Baja, California, although it does bring hurricane force winds to a lot of areas over there. And if we go ahead and show you the cone once again, actually, I think we can, uh, yeah, if we show you the cone right here, um, yeah, things are getting pretty interesting from here to here is a hurricane warning. It's going to mainly stay off to off the sea. However, there's going to it's going to stay close enough for the hurricane force winds and potentially the eye wall to get on shore. So that's something to pay attention if you are watching from Baja California in Mexico. And then the system makes landfall either in northern northwestern San Diego ca uh, County or West or North, sorry, southeastern Orange County. I I apologize for speak using losing my wording right there. And basically, it doesn't have nearly the winds that the H wharf is calling for. I'd say by the time this thing makes la uh, landfall, and the NHC actually has this for the forecast advisory. By the time it approaches, we're looking at around a, f a fifty mile per hour system by the time it approaches Los Angeles. I'd say fifty to sixty miles per hour is when this is how strong it's going to be when this thing makes landfall landfall. However, we're going to have to continue to wait and see what happens if this thing weakens slower than we're expecting, so we faster than, ex than we're expecting. Definitely some small minute details we need to pay attention to. Last one we're showing you is the GFS right here, the GFS for Hillary. And as you can see, it's moving through trucking just off the coast of Baja, California. Although the GFS actually has this thing moving just due north and making landfall in Mexico, in the uh, south of the U.S.-Mexico border before entering California as either a tropical storm or post-tropical cyclone. Again, all three of these runs are indicating a very big flood threat, ladies and gentlemen. So this is something we absolutely need to take very seriously over the next few days. But we're going to close the video out right here. If you're watching this from Los Angeles, San Diego, Orange County, or even in Baja, California, Pay very close attention to your forecasts, your local weather offices, and we'll continue to update you here on the Pat's Path Predictor channel. We're closing the video out right here. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It helps us out. It helps us make more videos like these. The goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather. But with that being said, have a wonderful day, guys. Stay safe.